I consider medicine to be kind of public service and EMS is public service. Um, yeah. And so I think that putting your best foot forward during something like the COVID-19 pandemic is a good way to, to show your character. So let's talk about that, that you volunteer um, through Essex Rescue and uh, as an EMT, and uh, you jumped on board to do some of that work before you even started at the post -back program, um, because it's a wonderful opportunity to get um, experience and build your candidacy. Tell me what that has been like, um, being a volunteer EMT um, um, amidst this crisis. So when I, before I even came to the program, um, I had gotten a bit of advice that uh, volunteering as an EMT would be a really good idea and a good way to get experience. So um, about a month before I started, I took an intensive EMT class and got my certification. And then I started volunteering a couple months after starting the program, um, probably in the end of summer. Uh, so I've been doing that for a little less than a year, but it's been a really good experience and a way to work with patients and other providers and learn all about EMS. Um, we've had the COVID-19 outbreak come to Vermont recently, and um, there's been a lot of updates regarding that. We've had to, they've um, instituted new protocols for COVID-19, um, and the states sent out a bunch of materials and information. Um, we've had to change our practices. There's a lot more personal protective equipment and decontamination involved, and we're taking every measure necessary to, um, to keep patients from getting contaminated by us and from to keep us from getting contaminated from patients. Mm -hmm. Keep you, everything safe. Yeah. Are you concerned about your own health and safety? I'm expecting to probably get COVID-19 at some point, um, but I don't live with any people that I would consider compromised. And so I feel a lot more comfortable volunteering my time there. Mm. Um, but I know a lot of other volunteers who are concerned for their family members have decided to take a leave of absence, but it's, it's been nice to be able to step up and fill in that spot and volunteer extra time there. And you have, um, this is not the, the end of public service for you in terms of your plans after you complete um, our post back pre-medical program. Um, share with me what you hope to do. Yeah, so I used to, I'm an Alaskan resident. Um, I gained residency there after finishing college. And I'm interested in working in Alaska as a PCP. Um, a lot of the state is considered an underserved area. And I'm really interested in, in working there doing family practice, which is what most people in the in small Alaskan towns do. 